Hi you folks, this is about permutations. So one thing I want to show you first is the difference between combinations and permutations. So if we're talking about combinations, so if I was to take a, a four letter word, just take the word F-O-U-R. So if I was thinking about how many different possible arrangements there are of maybe three of the letters so for combinations so you could have f o or u you could have f uh, sorry u r you could have uh, o u r um, f o r and then you could have o f r and o F and then you could have U F O uh, U F R and you could have U uh, O R so then uh, you could have R F O, you could have R O U, and you could have R F U. So that would be all of the combinations. So there's going to be 12 of them for combinations. So what the difference with permutations is that the order doesn't matter. So what's going to end up happening? Is that we're going to get a lot, a lot more permutations than combinations. So if I was to just take this F O U one alone, I could have F O U, I could have F U O, and I could have U um, F O. Uh, yeah, so that's all just from that one, okay. If I was to take the, the next one and the F U R, I, I could have F well F U R. So then I could have F R U, and I could have U R F. Um, and I could have U F R as well from there. Yeah, and then over here I could have had um, U O F. So there. There, there's four of the same one and then there's four of the same one so those are all everything I've listed over here on the right hand side they're all permutations of three letters of the word four and so you'll see that you're going to get an awful lot more permutations than you will combinations so that's the difference that the order of the actual letters doesn't matter so I could keep going going here and get all of them if I want to but uh, that's the difference between so on the calculator the button MCR like that works out the combinations and then there's a new one so it's um, NPR P stands for permutations so that will work out the, then the amount of permutations so I'm going to show you an example of where we need to work out the permutations so we're taking the word thir Thursday so how many different four letter arrangements can be made from the letters of the word Thursday? So if a letter cannot be repeated in an arrangement. So for example, the word Thursday itself, that would be one permutation. But then if I just mix up all of those letters somehow, I'm going to get loads more. So um, this is where we're going to use that button NPR. So all we're going to do is we're going to, because there's eight letters in Thursday, I'm going to put 8 PR, so, uh, so 8 P, and then it's we want how many four letter arrangements in this case. So it's going to be four. So you're just going to press the 8 button, then press the NPR button, and then press four. And that's going to get us the answer. So it's going to be something big. So it's 1680. 
the next bit then says how many of the arrangements begin with the letter D and end with a vowel so for this one I'm going to put a box just for each letter just to think about it so uh, the first box then it, it has to be a D so there's only one possible value that you you could put in there so it has to be a D for that one the last one it has to be a vowel so therefore it's only the U or the A they're the only vowels that are in Thursday so it's only two of them so I've got two of the letters gone then at this stage so because there's there's two remaining if there's two letters already gone from the word Thursday then there's only six left so that's what goes in here and now I've got three letters gone out of the word Thursday so then there's only five possible values left and you're just going to multiply all of those together so that would give you uh, 60. So 60 ways. And here's another simple enough example. So there are eight horses in a race. In how many ways can the first three places be filled? So again here, it doesn't really matter about the order of what, what, they, what they have been in. So this is where we're going to use the NPR button. So it's going to be eight and then we'll do that NPR. And then we want just of three places. So there's eight horses and we want to see how many different permutations of the first three places there could be. So you press eight, NPR and three. And that's three, six ways. Another way you could have thought about that was in first place there's going to be well there's going to be eight different possibilities for first place so eight and for second place there's going to be seven because the first place is already gone and then for third place there's only six left that could end up in third place so you multiply all this together and you get three six again just shows you that button on the couch there it is Right, so here's another example then. Now for this one, just be careful. So it's how for the it's the digit zero to nine. So we want to see how many four digit numbers uh, can we make from the the digit zero to nine. So if we're to think about it. What, what you might think of doing here is to use the button so there's 10 digits there all together so 10 and then you use NPR button and then 4 but this is wrong right, four. so that's if you have 10 things that's how many permutations of 4 could come from it so you can't do that here because the first digit if the first digit was 0 there well then there it's not actually a 4 digit number then so it's only a three digit number because the first thing is because the first one is zero so because we can't use zero as the first one there's only actually nine possible digits that we could use we could only use the digits one to nine to make a four digit number when it because we've used one then already there's actually nine left because now we can use zero for, for this one so we can use zero in here so there's one gone from the 10 for the first one, but then we can use that zero. So there's actually nine we can use for the second digit. For the third one then, there's only eight left. And then for the fourth one, there's only seven left after that because we've used three already. So we're multiplying all of those together. That gives us the first answer here. So four, five, three, six. Right, so how many of those then are greater than 1,000? So to be greater than 8,000, the first digit has to either be an 8 or a 9. So it has to be one of those. So we'll put 2 there. So 
of two different options. So then for the next uh, digit, there's nine left that you can choose from. And then for the next one, there's eight, and then the next there's seven. So that's all we do. So we just multiply all of those together. And we should get one zero zero eight there. Right, the last one then. So R divisible by 10. So again, let's do the boxes here. So if it's to be divisible by 10, well then it has to just, the only digit it could possibly end in is a zero. So there's only one possible digit that it could end in. And then for the rest of them, the, there, there's nine left because we've already picked the fourth digit okay already so there's nine left then out of the ten and then there's eight and then there's seven so it always goes back goes down like that at the end so I'm just multiplying all of those together so uh, that'll be five thousand and four I think sorry five hundred and four that's it so it's, it's a combination of using that button on the calculator or using the boxes and just trying to to fit the numbers a little bit and see uh, how many permutations that it makes